Hey guys, let me just check. Uh, audio is working. Welcome to exterior modeling. Um, we have a floor plan here that contains um, elevations, exterior elevations, floor plans, and this is completely different from my interior modeling series, uh, which is a ongoing series. But I got a lot of requests for uh, something exterior. So I found this floor plan. And uh, what we're going to do, we're going to line up each plan. I'm going to show you how to uh, you know, put these in the correct way. So when you do come to model an exterior of a house, uh, you have the right way to do it. And generally when you receive floor plans uh, in a CAD file like this uh, you will generally open it up like this and you you just need to do some tinkering and tweaking yourself so um, let's do with the basement and the floor here so we just want to bring uh, this guy down in the y-axis and you just want to find a common area it looks like it's going to be this guy so press F12 and why so we just bring that up um, okay now I will tell you my uh, dimensions here um, unit setup it is in uh, centimeters Okay, so that guy is lining up pretty well. We're just using uh, this as a template for now. So we'll go the next floor and we'll bring this guy down. Frame up on this guy. And with this one we need to match up the, the posts uh, So we'll line up these guys, so press F12 if you can't see your indicator. And in the Y axis we'll just bring this, this guy down. And we'll try and get as close as we can. That's good enough. And let's grab this guy. frame up. Now with the Y still selected you can actually zoom in and just uh, oh, let's undo that. Let's select the right one. Kind of misclick there. There we go. frame up. Let's bring this guy down and we'll just match the windows on this guy. And we'll just bring this guy down like so. And then we'll bring this guy down this guy down and we'll just match the windows on this guy perfect so that's the floor plans uh, sorted and let's go to the elevations and we just want to make sure that the pivot points are at the same so we're going to pivot effect pivot point and 
right click on the uh, move tool to bring up the move transport type in and on the Y axis here we just want to right click so bring those all the way down so right click on the uh, the arrow the down arrow here in the Y and uh, we have them at the same point so I just want to make sure the rotate pivot points are at the same height as well and uh, they are now we'll get to the front elevation this should be facing uh, the front so we want to rotate this 90 degrees and let me turn on the grid and we want to bring this down somewhere in the center like so and we can snap this to, uh, to the grid turn on snaps and I'll bring that there turn off uh, snaps and this is the left <coughs> so rotate this 90 degrees and then to the left 90 degrees and we can just bring this uh, down like so about there and this one is the right so bring this 90 degrees positive 90 degrees and then bring that to the right 90 degrees and we'll bring that out let's see we have one two three four five six one two three four five six one two three Six. I mean, you don't have to do equal spacing like I am. Uh, I think I have OCD on that respect. So we'll come to uh, the back. We want to rotate this down 90 degrees, and then we want to rotate this 180 in the positive, not the minus. This is minus. You see the little dash, and I don't want to teach you how to suck eggs. Okay. Okay, so we'll bring this across. Right click, grid points, and we'll just snap that to to there. Now we want to match these uh, these two, so we'll go to the front view, and let me turn off this snap for a second. And it does look like they are matched up. Let's just press F12 for a second, and let's yep, it was matched up pretty well. So we'll just undo that move. Okay, go back to our top view. Okay, so now uh, let's turn on right click the for the grid points and we'll just snap these to the middle. Turn that off. Go to the left view by pressing L on the keyboard. Uh, let's see if these matched up. Okay, so we just need to line this guy up uh, in the not the X. Let me 
just uh, back track on here. Here is uh, offset X. Okay, and that's fine. I just want to go into the front view again and re-double check. Go into the left view, pressing L on the keyboard, just turn off snaps for a second. Just double checking. So we've highlighted the left plan. Okay. Okay, so we'll go to the top. We can bring in the uh, floor plans now. And we just want to bring guys roughly to the center. like so <clears throat> what are we seeing now I'm just trying to eyeball this. Something like that. It doesn't have to be perfect because we will be matching uh, these up. Okay, let's freeze the first floor. And let's hide the rest. And we want to on fluids all, so we just have the floor plan here. And now we can try and match our elevations with the floor plan. So to do that, so just going to make a copy of this. Hold and shift and rotate 90 degrees. Uh, copy. And we'll go into the front view and we'll match uh, the stairs. So making sure Y is selected. I'm just going to bring that up. <clears throat> like so. Let's make sure we have the stairs. Okay, the stairs are, are there. Um, okay, always always double check you uh, put things where they are supposed to be going. And my Y axis is still locked, which allows me to move it up and down. There we go. Let's go to perspective view and we want to select the front and the back. Go into the front view and we want to match these up. With the floor plan. Okay. 
Sorry about that, I got slightly interrupted. Okay, so you want to move these uh, horizontally to match the stairs here. And we'll double check the other side. Try not to obsess too much. Okay. Okay, press P, perspective. Okay, you can freeze these two guys and we can delete this template reference here. So let's do the same. <coughs> <clears throat> had to cough then sorry guys so let's do the same for these two so we'll do the same process hold down shift and rotate 90 degrees and we'll go into the front view <clears throat> sorry the left view and we'll move these guys up in the Y, make sure it's selected, and we're going to use the stairs as the reference here, as before. Okay. Okay. P for perspective. Now select both elevations going to the left view and let's match up the stairs okay and I think that is that and we can delete this guy now and unfreeze all and I think we are ready uh, to model this guy so I hope this lesson has been somewhat helpful to you okay so I'll see you guys in the f coming lesson have fun